Okay, today I'm going to be crushing a homemade liquid metal gallium fidget spinner in the hydraulic press. And let's see if it melts in the hydraulic press. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'll make my fidget spinner mold here. Okay, I've got my pure gallium here, 99.99% .99 pure. Okay, I'm gonna try a slightly different way so I don't have to put the bearings in after. Okay, here's our liquid metal fidget spinner. I'm gonna let it harden for a little bit in the fridge, and then we'll crush it. Okay, I think it's all solid now. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's give it a test and see what it looks like. It works! Sweet! Look at that. <laughs> Liquid metal fidget spinner. Now unfortunately, we're gonna have to go crush it in the hydraulic press. So gallium is really cool because its boiling point is around eight times its melting point. That's higher than any other metal in the periodic table. So what that means is the liquid form is really stable, so it usually wants to be in a liquid form. And the reason is because in its solid form, Gallium has a really weird cubic structure called orthorhombic, and each side of the cube is not the length of any other side. And so the atoms are pretty far spaced apart. And so you have to take a lot of energy out before it forms a solid. So that's why gallium melts so easy, almost at room temperature, it can melt in your hand. So let's go ahead and put our gallium fidget spinner in the hydraulic press, and let's see if it melts in the hydraulic press. Pretty cool. And sorry to everybody who I promised I wouldn't do a video on fidget spinners again because there's so many videos on fidget spinners, but this one is pretty cool. I haven't seen done yet. A gallium fidget spinner in the hydraulic press. Let's see if it melts. Three, two, one. I think it's starting to melt under the pressure. I hear the bearings in there cracking maybe. You can see the gallium has melted off around the bearings in there. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Open it up. Okay, look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. So the bearings are totally fine in there. And there's my gallium fidget spinner. <laughs> Completely liquid again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So the gallium fidget spinner is no more. Has become a terminator liquid again. So our liquid metal fidget spinner is truly a liquid metal again. Completely melted in the hydraulic press. So the bearings actually seem mostly okay. They're a little deformed, but not crushed. You've seen in other hydraulic press videos how hard it is to crush a single ball bearing. And these are all, there's a lot of bearings in these. And it also has these structural supports on the side, so it's really hard to crush these. This one doesn't spin anymore. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and remember to hit that bell to be notified when the latest video comes out. And remember to comment with anything you'd like to see me do in the comments section or you can ask me any questions you're curious about and I'll see you next time.